when we talk about pulmonary emboli, what we talk about is usually clots that started in the deep veins in the leg that broke off and because of the, the way how circulation is designed, it goes from the legs to the inferior vena cava, to the right side of the heart and then to the lungs. The more clots you have, the more adverse effects as in worse oxygenation, worse uh, blood pressure. The symptoms are quite vague and quite uh, vague because uh, many things can look like a clot. Chest pain, palpitations, shortness of breath, passing out, um, low blood pressure. So because of cough, coughing up blood, because of the how vague these symptoms are and many things can look like even a common cold because it causes cough and you burst a small capillary and you're coughing up blood even then that can you in theory you can say well could that be a clot that's why physicians tend to have a very low threshold to start working up clots just because of the potential impact of this uh, of this problem the treatment is the treatment is blood thinners what they do is prevent the clot to form um, because the clot's already there uh, in, in people that have pulmonary emboli what, you, what this the idea of blood thinners is to prevent the formation of new clot and allow your allow your body take care of the clot that has already, that is already formed and just busted in principle patients that have clots will do fine after months of therapy they'll be functional as they were before some cases do not, that does not happen, but the overwhelming majority of the patients will do fine. While well, you're in blood thinners, you do avoid uh, intense uh, contact activities because of the risk of bleeding, which is the main side effect of all blood thinners, which is a small, which is a, uh, on itself is, is a small, is a rare event, but roughly around 4%. That's, but because of the risk of bleeding, multiple places, I mean, you can bleed in the brain, you can bleed in, in the gut, you can blame in your chest, you avoid intense contact. People can get clots at any age. It is true that they're more common in the, as age advances. Usually it's related to people that have had fractures. Usually people that have been, they're immobile, for example, they're in the hospital. Um, usually it can happen also in people that have cancers, people that, uh, women that use oral contraceptives, people that use anabolic steroids, so there are multiple people that have been on, uh, there, the bottom line is there are multiple risk factors. Many times, or for the most, we don't find the explanation. Currently, patients with clots have a great prognosis. After approximately six months of anticoagulation, these patients eventually will be able to do what they used to do before.